Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a really quick review for you of this digital Animo meter. So this is basically a wind meter and it comes in a little small box like this as you can see. So up front here it has the picture of the actual product which is accurate. Uh, the only thing is that it says here it has USB real time uploading. Uh, this unit does not actually have this and I'll show you in a minute here. But that's pretty much about it. And uh, so yeah, let me just go ahead and show you guys what comes in the package. You get the unit itself. There's a carrying bag, so it's just a soft carrying bag, and in there there's a little uh, insert here, and in there you have a little small user manual, just a piece of paper with a little bit of information and a little lanyard. So you use a tripod thread that you can mount to a tripod, or you can just use this here to screw it in and use it as a you know a wrist strap kind of. So that's pretty much the whole unit here. So here's basically the instruction manual. You can pause it to take a look if you need to. Uh, but this is everything that you need to uh, operate this unit. It's pretty simple. Diagram over here show you how to operate it. And here are some information of what it can do. So here's the unit as you can see it says this thing whole peak. So the model here is HP-A66B. In the back here you have the compartment to the battery. You need to take the two screw away inside this two triple A that's actually included. There are extreme wraps you just take them off and put them back in and they're good to go. I'll go ahead and turn it on here. As you can see, come on just like that, and uh, you can kind of see the screen now. But if I press this button here, the light will come on, and it will stay on for about 10 seconds if you don't touch this button. But we show you everything. Battery meter down. You have your temperature here is in Fahrenheit right now, 73 degrees, roughly about 72, 73 in this room. Pretty nice and chill. I like it like that. Switch to Celsius by pressing this button here, and then up there you have your wing speed. So you can switch to different measurement. It's in mile per hour now, which is usually what I like to use because I like to measure the wind speed outside when I'm playing with my quadcopter. But anyway, you can switch to the uh, meter per second, kilometer per hour, feet per minute, not, and back to mile per hour. So that's why I like to leave it on. You can also press the min and the max, and that basically just hold the, the low speed or the high speed, for example. Uh, and we can do the average, of course, also. So for example here, let me just go ahead and blow on it. Can I give you an idea down? Six, seven mile per hour, and you can see. So if I go to the max, I was getting about six miles. Let me hit the max right now. 9.8 miles per hour, and it's holding that temperature, and you can see it right now. And that's pretty much it. And same thing with the min, and uh, it's a pretty simple unit. So if we do the average, and you can kind of see here, uh, that get the average of overall of the various wind speed, and it just kind of hold it there for a while, so it doesn't erase it. If you turn the average off, it will be real time. So there's a port here that supposedly, I guess, if you have a USB input, but there's nothing there. So I guess this unit does not have a USB uh, data output or whatever. So yeah, it works fine. But if you're looking for that, it does not exist in this unit. So previously, I reviewed another unit. This is the other one here. I also had it on Amazon. So you can see here, they're very similar in terms of size and shape. And they basically had the same functionality. Uh, the only difference is that this one is actually a bit more fancy. It has a little bit more function, so you can do like uh, you can calculate area, flow, you can calculate velocity. So yeah, this guy is definitely a little bit more fancy than this guy. Uh, in general, I'm not really using those other things a lot. I just check the, the, the speed of the wind. That's basically about it. So either unit is fine for me. I do like this one. It feels a little bit more durable, and yeah, this one is a little bit more expensive also. But uh, yeah, they both are pretty much perform the same function. So kind of give you an idea. So that's pretty much my quick review of this small digital wind speed meter. I hope we help you in your purchase decision. If you have any question, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.